Welcome to Real Food. And today I'm going to experiment with um, these very large, beautiful um, white onions. Um, they've appeared in my local M&S food. And um, I've been looking for, for various recipes on what to do with them. And of course they could be simply used um, as an ingredient or they could be fried. But I decided to I grill them or bake them in um, um, in my frying pan actually. I don't want to use the oven because it's just a single large onion. But I'm going to cut it beautifully like this, as you can see here. And um, all recommendations say you know, keep the skins on because these skins will stop them from burning. And I'm going to cover um, these, um, these segments with um, olive oil and then I'm going to grill them in this olive oil um, and see what happens. Um, I think it's going to be um, fantastic, especially the way it looks. Um, but I will show you how uh, this experiment goes. So it's a really nice and sunny day today and I thought uh, while my um, onions are roasting I will go and fetch some herbs from my very own urban garden and look at what's going on here. I've got these chrysanthemums blooming and absolutely enjoying this November um, weather. It's sunny but it's already a, a little chilly. Um, still quite gorgeous nevertheless. So I'm looking for some herbs, maybe something like thyme, and look at this um, broccoli. This is a broccoli that I've been cultivating for several years now, and it's now um, become quite mature. It's got this beautiful um, trunk that it grows off, um, and it's producing these gorgeous leaves. Um, broccoli is generally a winter. Um, loving uh, plant so it does thrive in winter weather so what else have we got here um, I've got more broccoli these are young broccoli growing so you see they are quite uh, gentle still and they've not had the chance to develop fully yet I've got some aloe vera's and oh look at these tomatoes my tomatoes are getting ready for harvest so I will be harvesting them soon, but look at these gorgeous tomatoes, they're producing more and more. And it is November now, but I've planted them quite late actually in the year, so they will be producing all the way to December or January. So it's a gorgeous day today, and um, what I'm looking for, oh I might have some of these. I've got some, some fresh lavenders here, so I might have some of these with my onions. And um, I would also enjoy, yeah, these are gorgeous lavenders, so aromatic. And I might also enjoy some, I've um, got some more uh, broccolis growing here. Yes, here we are, thyme. I think this thyme will work really, really well with my onions. It's very fragrant, 
I think this particular one is a lemon thyme, so it's got a lovely lemony hint. Um, absolutely gorgeous. My fingers already smell of lemons. <laughs> and I might have some of these rosemaries. Yeah, that looks gorgeous as well. So I think that's what, what will go into um, the frying pan with my onions. But while I'm here in my garden, I'm going to show you my apple tree. This apple tree keeps producing apples every single year and I've already collected some but there's more growing and this is such a generous apple tree I really love it. Um, I probably do need to um, to do some maintenance around it but it's um, loving um, its new position here. I repositioned it recently and the apples are still on the tree. Some of them actually drop every now and then and I have to collect them from the ground. Um, but what I do, I might do, I might just um, collect them before it gets too chilly to stop um, um, all those gorgeous apples bruising themselves on the ground, on the floor. So here we are. Oh, and another little treasure I've got here is a pear tree that started blooming um, in November. So I am a little worried about it, that it might lose... Um, these um, tiny little apples that are growing um, but I think it will be okay because in my terrace here they've got these trees they've got a microclimate and I put it next to these ferns um, these cedar trees actually um, so um, um, it might enjoy some warmer climates and might this pear tree produced gorgeous pears this year for me so and it's blooming again the second time amazing so here we are I've got a few herbs from my garden. I've got um, lemon thyme, I've got rosemary, I've got lavender, and I've got a curry plant as well. So they're all going inside. And look at the onions, they're already looking gorgeous. I think these herbs will make it um, even more aromatic and delicious. So it'll be a really nice touch. But the onions um, themselves, they're already looking very tender and very beautiful. They've got that lovely golden caramelized um, um, look and very tender. So I might now reduce the heat um, and, um, and allow them to sit in this gorgeous... Um, I'm going, um, warm pan with with spices I'm going to and herbs I'm going to cover them a little to ensure that um, they infuse the oils okay here we are and my thyme will go under as well under these onions but it's pretty much um, close to being ready if not already there. And I was thinking to perhaps um, make a meal out of this deliciousness and and, and add to this um, mixture some, um, some sweet potato. I think sweet potato pieces will cook really nicely in this gorgeous, it will, they, they will absorb some oil and some of the flavors and it will make a complete meal. So it will be sweet potatoes with roasted onions and um, delicious herbs from my urban garden. Yeah, I think I, I will do that. So what I've done, I've cut um, uh, my sweet potato into thin slices because I don't want it, the whole um, mixture to overcook um, and this is so that it can absorb the juices and the oils much quicker and cook also much quicker. And I mixed it um, with my existing, um, pretty much already cooked onions. Um, but there's plenty of um, juices and oils and now I've got my herbs. So I will allow this to cook for another minute on very low heat. And I think it will be then, after that, ready for consumption.
So, while my onions um, and sweet potato um, are now absorbing the juices and cooking, I've now switched off the heat and I think it will just continue absorbing. It's pretty much ready. I've also decided to prepare rice to make it even more complete meal. So there will be uh, this beautiful um, onion and sweet potato and herbs with olive oil will be used as the topping for my rice. So I guess that will make it a complete meal. And um, my rice is currently uh, soaking. So um, after 30 minutes, I'll put it on heat and um, get my rice cooked. So um, both my onions, sweet potato and herbs are ready and my rice is ready too. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to combine uh, my um, roast onions in olive oil and rice and allow these ingredients to infuse each other for for a bit more time and that will be it it will be roast onions and sweet potato um, on rice hope you enjoyed this experiment and you can try something similar if you have any of your own ideas on how to combine um, delicious ingredients and um, uh, make new inventive dishes, please do share those in comments and uh, let me wish you bon appétit um, and a good day. I'll chat to you again later.